been brewing and brewing, and I think it really began to get on the fast track after I heard a sermon on the Ten Commandments and realized, you know, something something brew, something was really, really brewing here that was both a product of faith and, and science, and it really bringing them together. And that's why the book is called Lighthouse Faith, because it really is an emblem, emblem of God's love and his law. Love, because, of course, it's a symbol of hope, of strength, of, you know, coming home, of comfort, all of those things. But then it's also a symbol of God's love because it is in structure, just like the Ten Commandments, and that's what blew me away. So what about the Sermon on the Ten Commandments, which is something that most people just take for granted? Right, right. Well, this, what this, about this it was grabbed you? incredible, because it said it was, you know, the, the, the Ten Commandments are not just an arbitrary list, but an actual description of who God is, and that you couldn't break Commandments 2 through 10 without first breaking number 1. That told me it was a structure. You've got a seminal point, and everything else in the system is defined by its relationship to that seminal point. And the first commandment is, I am the Lord your God. You shall have no other gods before me. Right? Yes. That is both a statement of, that's both a command and a statement of fact. So and that's what really blew me away. If you meditate on that and do your best to adhere to that, then the rest kind of fall into place? Is that what you're saying? Well, that began this, the journey. And one of the things that, I, the first thing that happened to me, this was sort of revelation, is I was doing a harmonic analysis of the Hallelujah Chorus because I'm a, I have a music background. Yes. So I was giving a presentation about faith and about music using the Hallelujah Chorus and the harmonic analysis. And then all of a sudden I looked at the structure of this thing, I realized that this was laid out pretty much like the structure of the Ten Commandments. And I thought, perhaps there's something in the structure of the Ten Commandments that's a template for all law not just how we should behave. Wow, that's pretty heavy. Where were yeah. you when you I was in, you know, it's very interesting, and I tell the story in the book because I was actually in Ethiopia. We had just gone to the church in Ethiopia where they say that the Ten Commandments, the actual Ark of the Covenant is held, right? Yes. We were trying to talk to the priest to see if we could actually get in to see him, because they don't let you in. And there's something freaky that happened with our camera. It just fell over. And then everything was blue after that, right? I get back to the hotel in Ethiopia. I start analyzing the Ten Commandments, and this revelation about the Ten Commandments and music hits me like a bolt of lightning. That is wild. Yeah. What a cool story from a cool person yeah. and a cool book. And there it is right there. Warren Green, thank you for that. Thank you so much. Great to see you.